Using the correct styling products for the style that you are executing on your natural hair is extremely important. And a lot of times we're using the wrong things. So today I'm going to talk specifically about gels and custards and what they're supposed to be used for. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, my name is Dasha. I'm also known as the hair doula and today we are talking gels and custards, okay? I mean, Eco Styler is a part of that, even though I, that's not really what I recommend. But things like that, okay? They're usually water-based. You're usually using them to slick your hair down, maybe do a wash and go. Some people using them for twist outs, right? You know, we use them for different things. Today, we're going to talk about how to use them properly. What is their proper place in your natural hair regimen and your natural hair styles, okay? So as I said, gels are usually water-based. Why is that important? Because that means if you are, say, wearing a stretch style, it's going to cause your hair to revert. So if you're putting a water-based gel on your hair, your hair's gonna go and it's gonna shrink back up. It's gonna make your hair curly again. So if you are wearing a stretch style, say you're trying to get a really sleek bun or something, you know, water-based gel might not be your best option if your hair is dry and it's stretched. So keep that in mind. Gels and custards are great for something like a wash and go where you are wearing your hair in a curly state and you're styling your hair while it's still really, really soaking wet. So while your hair is wet, you would apply that gel on there and it's going to help to hold your natural curl pattern in its place and you aren't really gonna disturb it so you're not untwisting it or unraveling it or anywhere or, or doing anything like that. The way that you style it is the way that you want it to stay. And that's what gel is ideal for. It's gonna give you a defined and a firm hold when it is undisturbed. And this is key because once you start disturbing the gel, it is weakening the hold. So the more you manipulate it, do stuff with it, fluff it out, flip it, twirl it and reverse it, it is going to make your hair less and less defined and more and more poofy and more and more susceptible to things like humidity in the air. So you would not want to use a gel for something like a twist out or a braid out because you're disturbing that gel cast immediately, which means that your style is going to fail. Gels are also going to reduce volume. So that's why your hair can be a big, huge fro, but then when you do a wash and go, it's like, you know, it's a, uh, it's condensed. We'll, we'll say that it's condensed, right? To the point where sometimes people are like, what, where'd all your hair go? If you, you, if you know, you know, if you know, you know. I once had a dude, I had my hair in a style where my hair was very much condensed. And then the next day I wore it out in a big, no, it was the reverse. I had it in a big fro, and then the next day it was in a style that was really, really condensed. And he was like, where'd all your hair go? And I was like, it's still there. He's like, so you're telling me that all of the hair that was on your head yesterday is still on there right now? I was like, yeah. He was like, BS. I was like, okay. I'm not arguing with you, dude. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. So yes, gels will reduce the volume of your hair. Something else that people often don't know about gels is that crunch, it's a good thing. That gel cast, you want that. That's going to allow your style to last longer throughout the week. And that crunch is going to naturally go away anyways as you go throughout your week. So, you know, if your hair is a little, little crunchy on day one, you know, you probably actually did something right. You're doing it right and your style is probably going to last. If it is not crunchy, it's less likely to last. I don't know, it, it may still last. It depends on what you did and what you used. But all I'm saying is that to have crunchy hair when you're using gel for something like a wash and go, is not a bad thing. It is actually means that the gel is effective and it's doing its job and your style is probably gonna last longer. Also, something else that's really important is gels work best when they are set with heat. So if you're using a gel, say for a wash and go, you want to ideally sit under a hooded dryer and set your style with heat. 
indirect heat. It's not bad for your hair, it, your curls. It's not going to heat damage your hair. It's indirect heat, so you, you'll be fine. Um, but that's going to allow your style to be more effective. So again, it will last longer. Ideally, when you're using gels, especially if you're like me and you live in a humid environment, I live in Alabama currently, and I've, I've grown up in the South all my life. I grew up mostly in North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina. So if you, <laughs> you from North Carolina, hey boo. But especially if you've lived in more humid climates like I have, then ideally you want to double gel your hair. So you want to start first with a botanical gel that's got humectants in it. Um, like a plant-based gel, that's going to be the one that's right up against your hair, that's right next to your hair, that's helping your hair to maintain the hydration that you put in it during wash day. And then after that, on top of that gel, you want to put an anti-humectant gel, one that is essentially going to like prevent water from getting in and making your hair frizzy. So you want to use two gels ideally is, is what I do, especially if you live in a humid environment to make sure that <laughs> that um, humidity in the air is not jacking up your hair. Okay. okay. Yes, yes. Now on to the product recommendations, what you're really here for. <clears throat> cool. Some gels and custards that curl specialists recommend. Lord, I'm about to read off of a list because there's quite a few decent ones that can be found in a grocery store, believe it or not. Mm. So there's Miel Organics Honey Ginger Styling Gel. As I Am Curling Jelly. Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. I use that one. Curls Blueberry Bliss. I know that's a really popular one out there on the internet. So, you know, try it. Um, Design Essentials Natural Honey Curl Foaming Custard. And this one was shocking to me. Fantasia IC Hair Polisher Styling Gel. That's one of them gels I feel like, you know, we was using when we were kids. Before the YouTube, before any of that. Like, I feel like that's one of the OG gels. It is one that came recommended though. So go for it. Boom. So for everyone asking about products, product recommendations, what product do I use? There's a list of products you can choose from. You know, check them out. See how it goes. I also use a gel by Innersense. I create volume. That's another one that's recommended. I create volume by Innersense and I create hold by Innersense. But my stylist, she uses I create volume on my hair. It doesn't actually create volume, at least for me. It, it does create hold, but it's called I Create Volume. So the ones that I use specifically, the humectant gel that I use is the Uncle Funky's Daughter gel that I mentioned, and then I top that with my Inner Sense. I Create Volume. So check it out and let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment them down below. If you like the video, please give it a like. It would mean the world to me if you would do that, as well as to share this with someone that you feel would be beneficial. I'm, I'm really working to help women to understand their hair and make it easier for them to take care of. So share this with someone that you think would be, um, I don't know, glad to see it. And subscribe if you have not already and if you would like to keep seeing this kind of content. Um, along with other kinds of content. Check out the channel, see what you're seeing. There's different things on there. Ah. Anyways, um, that is it. I will see you. Okay, no, he's okay. <laughs> that is it. I will see you very soon. Um, again, my name is Dasha. I'm also known as the hair doula, and I will talk to you later.